in this video we'll be looking for something interesting topic that is known as flash fill now what exactly this flash fill do is now if you see on the screen i have some product code written and if i want the first four digits from it so usually what we do is we put a formula that is the text fun function that is if uh, sorry e that is equal to left function so with the help of that left function we get the uh, that is the first four digits but i'll give you a shortcut method by which you can get the entire four digits for the entire record how we can go for it it's very simple so i'll just type here the first four digits which i want i have written here 1000 so i want on the left hand side everything so i'll give you a shortcut method just press control e from a keyboard i repeat it's control e so when you once you press control e you will get all the four digits from your left hand side similarly i have one more example if you want the last three digits from this data so i have the last three digits as 100 so i'll type here 100 and if i press control e from my keyboard you see all the numbers are given here so now if you say control e from a keyboard yeah so now by mistake what it has taken is it it has taken as the left three digits so what i need to do is i need to train it again i need to tell him that it's not the first three it is the last three so i'll just try to explain him how do i do it you see here i'll just type here as 100 101 that's it so i've trained him for two different uh, cells and if i press ctrl e now the answer is correct which is saying as 102345 till the 7 number similarly sometimes it doesn't catch so what you have to do is you have to train him for two or three cells to avoid the confusion next is if i want the middle three digits from this cell so the middle middle three are 165540 so i'll just type here 165 and i'll press ctrl e from my keyboard so if you watch carefully the middle three digits that is 634552 and all the numbers are displayed let's see one more example this was for the numbers let's see how to work with text if i want the first alphabet from all the entire column i'll just type here the alphabet as m and the shortcut you have to remember that is ctrl e and the first character from every cell i'll get the answer similarly if you want the first two alphabets that is the mo so i'll just type here mo and press ctrl e so i'll get all the first two alphabets from the entire column the shortcut is very simple that is ctrl e and very useful next is i have something which i want the last two alphabet from this entire data so last two alphabets i'll put here as a y and if i press ctrl e i'll get everything but again if you see i just wanted last two alphabets but it is throwing something else what exactly it is throwing is i'll tell you what so it is throwing me the fifth and sixth alphabet so starting from fifth all the alphabets are displayed so if you watch carefully in this place after fifth alphabet that is e s d a y it is displaying but if i want only last two alphabets what you have to do is i have to train this excel okay first two things i'll just first delete it i'll type a y and again i'll type as a y so for two cells i have trained him and now what i'll do is i'll press ctrl e from my keyboard now if you see all the a y displayed similarly if i want last four digits or last four alphabets what i can do is i can type here n d a y and for this one also s d a y and ctrl e so similarly it will give me answer for all the cells you see last four uh, cell you can see as text which is displayed here last two alpha last four alphabets let's see one more and the very beautiful example is if i want to concatenate two different cells i usually have to use a function that is a concatenate or else i have to use a formula equal to first cell ampersand second cell but here there's a shortcut what is the shortcut given here i if i want to join this two text from two different cells is i just need to just train him for the first time that is john hyphen mary and i'll press ctrl e so once i press ctrl e if you see everything is copied here so that's the beauty of this thing is control e is known as flash fill there's a long cut method also we'll be seeing in the next video now if you don't like this kind of thing if you want something uh, some other option as this way if you want as the first text should be in capital and the next text should be in the small case and if you press ctrl e so automatically it recognizes what you want in the capital and what you want in the small case and this way you can get the answers so i hope i hope you have found this something interesting that is flash fill, flash fill topic and the shortcut is ctrl e that's all for this video